I shot the Amber T 800 because I got curious. She's gonna be a running theme in this channel. I get curious, I buy film, I try it. We see what happens. So it is a color negative film and you process it C41, it's tungsten balanced. So really it just feels like I'm shooting Cinestill 800T, but I'm not. If you know any details about it, if you know where it's from, all those things, feel free to throw you know that info in the comment section and uh, let's see what happened. Hey you guys, we are in studio today and I'm going to be testing out shooting Profoto as well as a new film stock on my film camera. Honestly, I'm here to focus mostly on digital and like try to finesse some film shots. So you guys are gonna see what that experience is like as I try to expand my portfolio. We have here, um, we're shooting with the Profoto Pro 10. Um, we have a beauty dish, Profoto beauty dish and a hair light that's gonna be back there. I'm gonna be starting with close-up shots, so I'm set up right now for close-ups. The trigger currently is on my digital camera, but I'm also gonna test it on my 35 millimeter Pentax ME Super. Um, I was testing between my auto settings and my bulb settings. Um, honestly, this could be a fail. This could turn out to be something that I do in every studio shoot, but we're here and we're gonna test it out, so. Tag along. Ooh. All right, so film test on the pro photo. Um, what did I shoot on on digital? F200. I'm gonna try to match my film to my digital. So, shutter speed of 1 200th, ISO 185. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna use my digital camera to meter for my film. So I'm gonna change my ISO. I was shooting at one, I was shooting at an ISO of 100, but I'm gonna change my ISO to 800. F, let's test it, let's test it. Test. Probably gonna be super bright. Hell yeah. F sixteen shutter speed of one thousand. Test. What did I do? Test. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so. Oh, you know what? If I set my eyes. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. So, in order to even. So this is gonna be a wild experiment. I'm gonna bring my ISO from, I'm shooting tungsten 800, but for this test, I'm gonna bring my ISO all the way down to 100. And my aperture to F16. Okay, tested. And I'm gonna shoot at a shutter speed of 
one two hundredth, let's say one half. Should, no, one fourth, one fourth. Um, yeah, just gonna, gonna roll with it. All right. Uh, should I turn off those lights? Yeah. All right. Perfect. Just hold it. Let's test. One, two, three. It's doing it again. Up. Oh, it's because my shutter speed is so long. Okay, hold it. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Um, now I'm gonna take the pro photo off because I just... I want a good photo. <laughs> so... I'm gonna go back to ISO at 800. Thank you. Sorry. Dim it down just a little bit. Um, go. Oh, okay. So, let me let me do a test shot on this one first. Okay. Hold it. Okay, give me more power. Yep. Do you want to be same pose well? Yeah, same pose. Yeah. One second. Okay. Perfect. Hold it. Nice. Yep. Hold it. Hold that same pose. Let me come close. I know what you meant. Yeah. 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 <sighs> All right. Yep. Yep. Hold it. Come closer. Yep. 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 Hold it. Now let me see if I can try to get the both of you together real quick. Oh, here. Actually, you can both stand, I think. Yeah. This one, I'm going to be standing too, so it's okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Maybe head or flip this way. And yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Hold it. Hold it. All right, one, two, three. There you go. Yep. 
Hold it. Yep. Perfect. Hold that. That's a wrap on set. Honestly, it was mostly a day focused on digital with a snippet of film and wanting to test out if I can actually shoot my 35 millimeter, 35 millimeter Pentax with a pro photo. And then I was like, let me just take some good photos. So fingers crossed, also tried a new film stock. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you guys for watching. I will be doing another video on using a strobe and my film camera because I was actually kind of like surprised that it worked. I was so scared, so scared. And that's why I turned it off because obviously I didn't like, I wanted to get some good shots. So what I will do is continue to do and film it. Try using a pro photo or strobe lighting on my film camera with a trigger and being more intentional and like I've gotten some advice that I want to uh, I want to use and I really want to like do it and do it well and do it properly. Other than that, Amber T800 was cool. Like I got some red glowy things. I'm forgetting what it's called right now, but I didn't not like how that looked. So, and I'm sure there were a number of reasons why I got those kind of reflections and those kind of like light uh, speckles in my photos. But other than that, the film stock is cool. I got it for $18. At this point, we're, not, we're just not gonna talk about film prices. So um, it's cool. If you have it in your local camera shop, if you can order it online, then uh, test it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've ever used it before. Um, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Shout out to me. Shout out to my husband though, I love him. He's the one behind the camera no right now.